Venus is a very important planet because everyone is interested in love marriage and these areas because this is where fortune plays to the highest like in other areas you know that if the person have skills if the person have talents he will succeed like you know if profession if the person is having skill if the person is having dedication devotion if the person is doing hard work to tomorrow he will succeed mostly uh, but in the matters of marriage this is not the case it is pure dependent on fortune and marriage is seen from venus also so we'll know more about venus first thing first venus talks about love and desire how much desirous a person is is seen from venus now one thing is there venus is strong it will indicate that person is having desire now this strength this is my you know like what i have learned from analyzing these many horoscopes over these years is that everything does not work in the same way for example you say a powerful planet is a prominent planet like say venus venus is the significator for love and desire let's take desire if venus is powerful will it make a person very desirous if venus is having chestable such as retrogression etc retrogression conjoined with moon venus in a planet you are this gives chestable to a planet if venus is chestable then it will increase a lot of desire apart from that if venus becomes powerful by going in his own rashi say libra taurus or going in an exaltation such as pisces it makes the person desirous but not of things the person is not desiring things that he is not having the person is desiring the best experience and result from the things that he is already having right so why because when when venus will go into good rashi taurus libra pisces it will not only strengthen venus it will purify venus also so person will not have a lot of desire about things that he is not having as in you know having a lot of rajas in fact the person will only want things that he is already having to manifest in a good way to work in a good way right so this is how it should be understood right apart from that because venus indicates desire you can see the houses influences by venus the house lords influences by venus the planets influenced by venus that will tell you what are all of the things that one is desirous about for example if venus is connected to the 10th lord one have great desires in profession right if venus is connected to mercury one have great desires from their relatives and friends expectations here it will become expectations right one have great expectations from their friends and relatives right this way it should be interpreted now coming to the matter of love how much one is able to love someone else you see what i have seen can you say that if someone is having a, a debilitated venus in rashi or navamsh they are doomed to have a bad marriage no it does not work this way in fact people with exalted venus generally suffer in relationships as compared to people with debilitated venus so what does this exaltation and debilitation do this love part right like how much you are able to love someone because people generally uh, you know pe people generally uh, expect that someone like people generally complain that people are not like someone is not loving me i did not get love in my life love is not something that you will get love is something that you will give the first question should be how much you are able to love your family members or spouse people in the society right because love is something the more you give the more you receive it works on that particular formula right so when you see a bad venus venus going into a bad rashi right i will call upon the principle of sattva rajas tamas here right uh, uh, sun moon and jupiter are sattvic planets their rashis are sattvic leo cancer sagittarius pisces they are sattvic rashis venus mercury are rajasic planets so their rashis libra taurus uh, gemini virgo are also rajasic rashis and uh, saturn uh, saturn mars are uh, tamasic planets so their rashi capricorn aquarius uh, scorpio and aries are tamasic rashis so when venus is going into a tamasic rashi 
the approach for love is i am doing something for the person not loving doing something for the person and the person should love me back i am not loving the person i am just doing something and the person should love me back right because tamas is this particular approach of you know like how a hooligan or how a bad person or how a criminal thinks right because i will not kill this person he should give me something or he will please me something why because i will not kill this person if he pleases me or do something like that, right so this is a tamasic approach right because i am in a position to do something that i can do with anyone and i am not doing it with you right so because i am not doing it with you you should please me this is tamasic approach this approach one takes in relationships when venus is going into a tamasic rashi right so why these things are being told to you so that you can improve it because you should improve it if you are having venus in a tamasic rashi and you are having tamasic approach in relationship it is not going to improve ever right that's first thing rajasic rashi does indicate that someone is giving love and they are expecting love in return only this is not bad that's why rajasic rashi is are of venusian rashi is also the person is expecting that i am doing this for you you should also do something for me it is good satvik rashi is are like i love the person because he is my spouse or friend or anyone they love me back or not that does not matter i love them that's enough my love is enough the other person is ill treating mistreating it does not matter now what happens when i told you na venus in exaltation rashi generally i have seen people suffer in relationships as compared to venus in debilitation rashi why because venus becomes debilitated in virgo virgo is a rajasic rashi person is having a very simple approach i love you if you love me it is okay if you don't love me then fine we go our own ways these people are less inclined towards suffering as compared to venus exalted venus becomes exalted in pisces that is a satvik rashi so the person's approach is i am loving you because you are my husband friend mother father anyone you don't love me does not matter my because i am a sant i am a saint at heart i will love you you love me or you don't love me that does not matter i will do my duty i will do my part now this time is kali so these people are more suspected towards getting misused or abused by the life partner or anyone resulting in the person being you no know, person suffering in relationships right that is the particular reason so each and every signification that i am telling you in this video in fact the series each and every signification have a uses a very great uses that's why i have chosen to talk about it have very great uses and to explain the uh, uses of only one factor that i am telling in all of these videos it will take a book it will take an article to explain singular uses of one factor only right my purpose of telling these things to you is that you people will understand understand these uh, different significations of planets and you will apply it in your practice of horoscope reading and make your horoscope reading better one thing i will want to clarify if you are just looking at predictions on your horoscope sorry my friend haat jodiye sorry i don't do that right so predictions on your horoscope is not my purpose of making videos right my purpose of making video is those who want to learn astrology should learn it in a good way so the take away from my video is that you learn astrology right if you are interested in your horoscopes result related to your horoscope i am not interested in that for that there is consultation option i give consultations you can take consultation if you don't want to take consultation it's all up to you i don't force anyone i have never even messaged anyone to join my courses or do anything not even told students even if i think that this course will be very useful for this person i don't message them from my side and recommend them that you should join the course i never do that right so my purpose is to teach you good astrology to give predictions on your horoscope is not my purpose at all so let's be very clear about it next thing is venus talks about comforts also right so comforts and means of conveniences that you are going to have in your life is also indicated by venus a powerful venus will indicate you have a comfortable life you have multiple means of conveniences whereas a weak venus will indicate that you don't have a comfortable life you don't have many means of conveniences right now in this particular scenario if your venus is weak you are not having many conveniences 
does 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 that mean that you can never have it you can have it but in that scenario even if you have many conveniences in your life because venus indicates comforts also with increase in conveniences you will expect that there will be increase in comforts but sadly that will not happen because your venus is weak what do you have to do in that particular scenario you will have to remedy venus so that it gives you good result if you do that conveniences will also increase convenience convenience whatever it will also increase and comforts will also increase right sexuality is also indicated by venus so sexual pleasures should also be seen with respect to venus right because venus indicates sexuality and venus also indicates sperm in a male horoscope the strength of venus is very important for the person to successfully be able to produce a child in a male horoscope if venus is weak or afflicted it does indicate that either the sperm is weak it is not having good sperm count or if venus is afflicted it is indicating that the sperm is afflicted he is the sperm is not able to survive in the female body uterus for long which gives problem in childbirth as well so not only sexuality of weak and afflicted venus not only destroys the sexual experience but also compromises the ability to produce a child in this particular scenario if venus is afflicted by sun then generally having the partner is like you know malefic planets whenever it is connected to venus it does indicate that after a lot of fights and struggles and lots of compromises only the sexual relationship can be made in that particular scenario also mars generally indicates a menstruating life partner so childbirth if mars is connected with venus some becomes difficult there have to be a lot of planning when saturn is connected to venus in that particular scenario forced celibacy for quite some time quite long time is the result rahu connected to venus generally life partner will cheat you or life partner may have been in a strong relationship with others as compared to you and when venus is connected to sun the sexual experience with the life partner will be humiliating right the person will always feel low either the life partner is more beautiful or more capable or whatever it is right so based on the planetary significations it have to be decoded accordingly apart from that venus is a minister so when venus is powerful when it is connected to profession factors in horoscope it gives you a ministerial position and when it is connected to wealth factors in horoscope it does indicate that you earn best in your family and friend circle right you are at a level of minister now ministers have a, a very good professional status they earn well so this is the result if venus is connected to your profession or wealth houses why because venus is a minister apart from that venus is also named as sith sith means pure so the purity of the person is seen with respect to venus now if there is any question prashna related to the purity of the person the dedication devotion of the person you have to analyze venus if venus is afflicted if venus is not saved in the prashna the person is not pure the dedication devotion character of the person is questionable the same goes in horoscope also people with afflicted venus generally are not pure they are impure impure as in they can have some other thought in their mind some other words in their mouth they can easily compromise ethically morally they are not very strong charactered right this is also seen with respect to venus in colors color that venus gives you venus indicates dark blue color white color and variegated color that depends on what type of venus it is venus in tamasic rashi is generally indicates dark blue color it is in the complexion that venus gives to the person so venus in tamasic rashi is will give you dark blue color venus in satvik rashi is will give you white complexion venus in rajasik rashi is will give variegated complexion variegated complexion generally indicates like you may have seen a person who is so you know sometimes you see a person who have a darker face like like those skin areas which come in contact with sun are darker in complexions and those skin areas which are generally hidden chest and and shoulders etc are white in complexion like fairer as compared to the other parts of the body this is the variegated complexion that is generally indicated by venus right 
Now, if you want to do remedy for Venus, you will want to donate something for Venus or offer things related to Venus. In this donation and offering things related to Venus, Venus indicates variegated color. So if you are going to offer a flower to Venus, as in, in your home temple also, you can do Venus mantra and before the mantra, you can offer flower mentally to the Venus God or for Venus, the goddess Lakshmi or the goddess Sachi. Sachi is the wife of Indra and I have only seen a Sachi temple in the complex of Jagannath temple in Puri. So if someone wants to remedy Venus, visiting Jagannath temple of Puri at least once in a year for five years will be the best remedy that I can recommend. One of the best remedy that I can recommend. Apart from that, worshipping goddess Lakshmi is also a good remedy for Venus, right? So a color of a flower of variegated color, variegated color means mixture of more than one color can be offered to goddess Lakshmi for Venus remedy. Chanting the mantra of Venus after offering this flower to goddess Lakshmi will be a very good remedy. If you want to donate some clothes or something for Venus, then the clothes and the other thing that you are clothes, food, sweets, anything that you are donating for Venus or offering to uh, Venus in Venus temple or offering to goddess Lakshmi for the remedy of Venus should be variegated in color. Now regarding clothes, a uh, black cloth with white polka dots is variegated in color. A check shirt is variegated in color, right? So these, uh, you know, this, this different setup of variegated colors of any color should be taken for Venus, for donation, for offering, and for all other purposes that you can think of. For example, if Venus is indicating variegated color as in uses, you can also have bed sheet and curtains of variegated color in your home if you want Venus to be activated more. Right? So this should also be used. In directions, Venus does indicate southeast direction. In a southeast direction, you should have your kitchen. So in your home, if you have your kitchen in southeast direction or if you eat while sitting in southeast direction of your home, this is good, will be a remedy for Venus. Apart from that, keeping southeast direction neat and clean in your home will also be a good remedy for Venus. If your house, uh, if your office is in southeast direction from your place of residence, then your profession is being uh, indicated by Venus. Venus is having an active role in your profession because you will have to go to your office every day. In this particular setup, if Venus is positively connected to 10th house, 10th lord, or finance factors, wealth factors, profession factors, then it will be good. If Venus is negatively connected with finance and wealth factors, then it will be bad. Accordingly, it should be judged if Venus is indicating life partner, as in if the seventh lord is in the Rashi of Venus, Taurus, Libra, then when you will find your life partner in the southeast direction. Why? Because Venus indicates the southeast direction. One thing you should notice. I'm not, see, Taurus will indicate east direction or northeast direction or south direction, depending on which type of directions you are using. In Vedic astrology, four or five type of directions are there. Libra will indicate west direction, always. But Venus is indicating southeast direction. And I am telling you that if some, if you want to know where you will find your spouse or life partner, you should check the Rashi occupied by seventh Lord. And you should take the direction indicated by the planet who lords the Rashi. Why? Because life partner is a living being and planets indicate living beings. Non-living things, objects, etc. are indicated by Rashi. This particular differentiation you will have to keep in mind. For example, if you want to find the complexion of the spouse, go with planet because spouse is a living being. If you want to find the find the color of your car that you will purchase, then you should go with Rashi colors because car is a non-living being. Right? This is a small differentiation should be kept in mind. This I have told in numerous of my videos. Right? These things you should take a note of. These differentiations you will have to make because astrology and intellectual science, these things you will have to understand. Apart from that, Venus is an extremely benefic planet. That means if Venus is connected with any planet, conjoined with any planet, aspecting any planet or house, those houses give good result because Venus is a benefic planet and realizing the significations related to the planet, gaining the significations related to the planet, enjoying the significations related to the planet is very easy easily achievable because Venus is a benefit planet. Venus indicates a young female. So if Venus is going to do something, Venus will get it done through a young female. 
in prashna if venus is connected to the ascendant it does indicate that either the prashna is asked by a young female or the prashna is concerning a young female regarding elements venus does indicate water elements so keeping water clean drinking a lot of water cleaning rivers around yourself right flowing things in waters should be considered a good remedy for venus elements have uh, different uses right because venus is a watery element and fourth house indicates water venus gets digbali in the fourth house right this you will learn <clears throat> so elements have many fold uses few uses i have told you right now many uses i have told in previous videos also that you should see how to use the elements of planets it's it have very extensive uses one thing is that element is you know like the basic element right element is the base human body is made up of five elements so the basic thing related to venus for example love and desire is the basic quality of venus spouse girlfriend is secondary quality of venus basic quality is love desire now because venus is water tattva who else is water tattva moon is not water tattva but moon is ruled by water god watery rashis will be cancer scorpio pisces capricorn also have water so capricorn should also be taken as water virgo is also water right so when venus is connected to water when venus is going into watery rashis when venus is going into watery houses watery houses are 4 at 12 watery rashis i have told you when venus is connected to watery planets in rashi and navamsha then venus is elementally supported venus is supported at the elemental level and the basic element of venus is love and desire only in these cases one will be able to completely experience love completely experience desire and if the water influence is positive only in that case the real experience the real reward of love and desire success in the matters related to love and desire can be realized if venus is not supported at elemental level you say venus is not connected to water rashis water houses water planets then you may still get married i am not telling you that you will not get married at all but because venus is not supported at elemental level the feeling of love and desire in relationship marriage will be lacking comforts because of life partner basic element of venus will be lacking sexual satisfaction with life partner will be lacking feeling loved by life partner feeling desired by life partner will be lacking so elemental level problems planets start creating when they are not supported by their element and i told you one of the most important thing i told you in the starting that because venus is watery element fourth house is water house venus gets digbali in water fourth house so whenever you have to see whether the planet is supported by element or not what you are going to do you are going to use digbal primarily to see elemental level support 10th house is indicating fire venus water is very much inimical to fire so venus loses his directional strength in the 10th house that's the first that's the point venus indicate brahmins also so when in transit venus is afflicted brahmins in the society may suffer now brahmins are also intellectual people people who are in the worship of god people who uphold dharma people who advise people advise others all comes into brahmins so when venus is afflicted in transit brahmins in the world will suffer first thing when the rashis of venus is afflicted in transit brahmins in the world will suffer that's the basic prediction apart from that if venus is connected to finance houses or profession houses then it does indicate one will earn their livelihood as a brahmin by engaging in intellectual pursuits i already told you that venus is a rajasic planet and how to use rajas that i already told you so that's there apart from that if venus is indicating your yourself by being the strongest planet in the kendra by being connected to the ascendant and avamsha ascendant or navamsha moon or if venus is indicating your spouse by being connected to the seventh house or your children by being connected to the fifth house what type of nature behavior character it will give to yourself your spouse or your child or to anyone first of all venus makes you ease loving personal love is 
that's why venus is the significator of comforts person is happy person have a beautiful body person have a lovely eyes person is having windy and phlegmatic nature because of phlegmatic nature they can have obesity also and because of windy nature you know this problems in digestion nervous issues and all of these things can happen person will generally have curly black hair beautiful to look at i already told you long hands broad chest broad face lot of sperm the person being splendorous uh, splendorous all of these things are indicated by venus hair extension is indicated by venus long hair is indicated by venus the person will be sensuous very fortunate will generally like to wear multicolored clothes will be sportive will be intelligent will have broad eyes prominent shoulders will be handsome will have symmetrical and lovely limbs will have soft eyes eyes which looks soft and calming when you look at them will have amorous disposition will have amplitude of grace will have vigor all type of excellence and good qualities the person will possess the person will be the person will have bodily strength as well the person will be ambitious right these will be the qualities of the spouse if venus is connected to the 7th house your qualities if venus is the most powerful planet in the kendra the most powerful planet in the sadbal or the lord of the lagna rashi uh, lagna navamsh rashi or the chandra rashi uh, or the chandra navamsh if venus is connected to the 5th house this will be the nature of the child if venus is connected to the 4th house this will be the uh, nature of the mother if venus is connected to the 9th house this will be the attributes of the father if venus is connected to the 3rd house these will be the attributes of the siblings etc right apart from that venus indicates bedroom also keeping your bedroom neat and clean making your bed and blankets and all of that after you wake up is a very good remedy for venus right if you are yeah these are very good remedy for venus donation of things related to bedroom right such as blankets pillows etc is also a good remedy for venus in clothing as you can wear gemstone for planets you can also wear clothes for planet or donate clothes for planet strong clothes and or silk clothes are indicated by venus also white silk clothes are indicated by venus strong clothes are also indicated by venus strong clothes generally sweaters jeans this is strong clothes so as you wear more of jeans you will strengthen venus you can donate uh, jeans to people that will also strengthen venus regarding metals wearing of pearl or any type of silver will strengthen venus generally if you wear a gemstone for the planet it strengthens the planet and if the planet is malefic in your horoscope you don't want to strengthen a malefic it is problem creating but when you wear metal for planet you are just you know making the planet positive in this scenario even if the planet is bad result giver it does not matter it generally makes the planet positive only without any major side effects as such so wearing metal i recommend more to uh, people as compared to wearing gemstones that is one thing and another thing is metals are used for channelization so if you wear pearl for sorry if you wear diamond for venus it will only strengthen venus but if you wear pearl or silver for venus if you wear pearl after chanting the mantra of venus you are wearing it for venus i have written a recent article install wearing of gemstone and installation of yantras on my website you can wear that you can read that and if you wear pearl following the things that i have recommended in the article for venus you are wearing pearl for venus now what happens with metals that metals you can use them to channelize desire also because wearing metal is more or less a tantric remedy so if you have a particular desire and as per the horoscope analysis that desire will be fulfilled or is not getting fulfilled because of venus and you want that desire to be fulfilled then what you can do is that you can wear a pearl for venus following the method that i told in the article wearing of gemstone and installation of yantras on my website and after that you can chant venus mantras or lakshmi mantras with a sankal regarding the wish you that regarding the wish that you want to get fulfilled and in one year you will see 
that you are closer towards the fulfillment of whatever wish or desire you were having or your wish or desire will be fulfilled in one year. So with proper method, rearing of metal for a planet is a remedy which can be used for wish fulfillment or channelization of energy as well. That's why I give more importance to it. So try it. In seasons, the season of Basant or spring, which is from 15th of March to 15th of May, that is indicated by Venus. Uses of the season is in timing of events. If the seventh Lord or Venus is situated in the Drishkan D3 of Venus itself, Libra Taurus, it does indicate that you will get married between 15th of March to 15th of May. If the fifth Lord or Jupiter is situated in the D3 of Venus, Taurus, Libra, it does indicate that childbirth will happen between 15th of March to 15th of May. In timing of events, this Drishkan is used. Regarding aspect, Venus only aspects the 7th house from its position. In forming connection, etc. It have to be used. In Prashna, if Venus is indicating some result, that result is found in a fortnight, that result is found in 15 days, that result is realized in 15 days. Venus indicates soul taste. As you eat more of soul food, you will be activating Venus, strengthening Venus when Venus is connected to second house or ascendant or when Venus is more powerful planet, person will be generally, person will generally have liking towards soul food. In Prashna, if Venus is connected to second house, fifth house or ascendant, it does indicate that either person have consumed soul food or is going to consume soul food. Venus, according to me, is very friendly towards Mercury and Saturn. Normally friendly towards Mars. With Jupiter, it is not very friendly as such, but neither enemy at all. With Sun and Moon, he is very inimical, Venus. So when Venus is connected with friendly planets, things related to Venus are easily achievable. You enjoy in the matters signified by Venus, both by the natural significations of Venus that I am telling you in this video and based on the signification of the houses, which is lauded by Venus. On the other hand, when Venus is connected with inimical planets, it means Venus is afflicted and affliction means you will find difficulties. You will find challenges in enjoying and realizing things signified by Venus in your horoscope. I already told you Venus gets directional strength in the fourth house. So when Venus is get when Venus is situated in the fourth house or nearby fourth house in third house, fifth house, second house, or sixth house, Venus should be considered as powerful. Venus should be considered as digbali, as Venus will dig become digbali. What I told you earlier that if a planet is digbali, he is supported at elemental level. And when Venus is supported at elemental level, it will indicate that you will be more favorably disposed towards having being loved by your spouse, being desired by your spouse, etc. Venus gets powerful in daytime. So if you are born in daytime, Venus should be considered as powerful. If you do remedies, etc. related to Venus in daytime, that will be good. That will be more effective. If Venus is going to give you something, for example, meeting with spouse or getting a job, you will generally get the confirmation call in daytime only. Venus does indicate Yajurveda. So if someone is going to start reading Yajurveda or going to get initiated in a, a Vedic branch, which stems from Yajurveda in the Muhurta chart, you have to make sure that Venus is powerful. Only then the initiation process is successful. Only then the child is able to secure good scholarship. Otherwise not. When Venus is between 20 degree to 30 degree in any Rashi, at that point of time also, Venus should be considered as powerful. Right? In Lokas, Venus indicates the true Lokas. So if the stronger between Sun and Moon in horoscope is situated in the D3 Rashi of Venus, that is Taurus or Libra, it does indicate that the person, the child, was the ancestor of the same family and he is born in the same family over again right? to fulfill some karma. That karma should be seen from whichever planet indicate stronger between sun and moon who indicates that the person is the person was in Pitru Loka earlier and is born in the same family. Then based on the most powerful planet situated in 6th, 7th and 8th house based on the Dreshkan of this planet one should decide where one will go after death. 
So if the most powerful planet situated in 6th, 7th and 8th house is in the Drishkan of Venus, that is Libra or Taurus, it does indicate that person will go to Pitru Loka, the world of ancestors after death. Which indicates that in this life, person will be very much attached to his family, point one. Secondarily, at the time of his death, some wishes and desires related to family can remain unfulfilled. Settlement of children, marriage of children, grandchildren, etc. Which will force the native to go into Pitru Loka and remain there being attached with the family members. Right. So such predictions should be culled out. When Venus is situated in Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn and Pisces at that point of time also Venus should be considered powerful because Venus being a female planet is powerful in even Rashi. In this scenario you know that because Virgo is a debilitation of Venus also and uh, Pisces is an exaltation of Venus. So in Pisces Venus is supposed to be more powerful as compared to all of these Rashis and in Virgo Venus is considered to be, be least powerful considered to be least powerful as compared to all of these Rashis. As I told before also, you will consider all the strength factors, we will mix them to find if the planet is really powerful or not. Whatever conditions I am telling you in this video, only planet getting three, two to three uh, sources of strength or more should be considered powerful, otherwise not. Right. Also, in the starting of the video, I told you what is the difference between Venus in Virgo and Venus in uh, uh, Pisces. So that particular way of analysis, you will have to keep in mind. Otherwise, your analysis will not be comprehensive. Your analysis will not be complete. If someone is born in bright fortnight, if someone is born at that point of time when moon is in Shukla Paksh, then also Venus being a benefic planet should be considered as powerful. When sun is situated in Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus and Gemini, and you are born at that time, then also Venus should be considered powerful. In the second part of night, that is you say two hours, one, one and a half, one and a half to two hours before midnight and after midnight is the time when Venus should be considered powerful. If you are born at this point of time, then your Venus is powerful. If you are going to do remedy for some remedy, mantra, chanting, etc. for Venus and you do it at this point of time, then also it should be more effective. Right? Venus is a head rising planet. Head rising planets generally give quick results. So whatever result is indicated by Venus in your horoscope, you will quickly enjoy it. If Venus indicates marriage, there will be early marriage. If Venus indicates gain of vehicle property, early gain of vehicle property will happen. Venus is having form of humans. So when Venus is afflicted in transit, when the rashes of Venus are afflicted in transits, humans land into problem, crimes, etc. related to humans happen more often. That is one thing. Apart from that, if you are going to do anything related to Venus, if you do it with humans, that will be better. So if you are going to donate something for Venus, donating to humans will be better, etc. As I already told you that water is indicated by Venus. So that should be kept in mind. Venus indicates 16 years old person or seven year old child as well. So donating things etc related to Venus to a 16 or seven year old boy or girl will be better. If Venus is in, in Prashna, if Venus is indicating something that this thing will be done by Venus, then it is very much probable that the thing will be done by a young boy between seven to 16 years of age. Venus also rules over animals. You know, feeding cow, cow is signified by Venus. Feeding cow is also a very miraculous remedy for Venus. Why? Because Venus indicates animal. And if you care for the animals which are related to Venus, that will strengthen the Venus, right? That will be a more effective remedy. So all of the significations related to Venus, for example, I told you Venus is water. And a benefic planet also. Non-aggressive animals related to waters, dolphins, etc. If you spend more time with them, if you visit dolphin parks often, then that should also be considered a good remedy for Venus, right? So mixing the significations of Venus, you should find the animals which are signified by that. Right? Venus gets exalted in Pisces also. Pisces indicate fishes as well. I jokingly say that so let's leave the joke. 
those who consume fish more often are uh, more inclined towards having a bad uh, or in fact i should use the word dissatisfied mental life as compared to those people who don't consume fish that rapidly right now you cannot say sir this person is vegetarian his mental life is worst as compared to this person who is non vegetarian i am saying how the planetary yoga is afflicting we one person who is having no malefic influence on the seventh house only a bad match making of course their marital life will be very much different as compared to the person who is having only malefic influences on the seventh house plus a bad match making right now this person who is having only bad match making but on but all the good combinations related to seventh house even if he eats non veg his marital life will not be as bad as the other person so that is a basic point of understanding i am telling you same ascendant same planetary setup one person who is eating fish and one person who is non eat not eating fish when you compare their marital lives you will find that the person non not eating fish his marital life is better as compared to the one who is eating fish same combinations right same ascendant same planetary degrees and everything same and it is very easy to find such horoscopes that you can see yourself some hard work you will have to do you get nothing in life without hard work that is something that you have to understand in gemstones venus indicate diamond so you can wear diamond for venus and people think that gemstones can only be worn it's not the case you must have heard na no? sona chandi chawal pras so making the powder of gemstone and eating it is also considered a remedy in ayurved right bhasma gemstone bhasm is also considered a remedy in ayurved i will not recommend you that because purified gemstones are not found nowadays but one thing you can do that in a clear clean cloth you can keep the gemstone right as it as if it will not contaminate the uh, food products and wrapping in a clear clean cloth or a transparent box you can keep the gemstone with cereals grains vegetables etc later on you can cook that cereal grain vegetable and eat it that will also serve as a good remedy for the planet apart from wearing diamond also the donation of the gemstone can also be done to remedy the planet so wearing the gemstone is only the case when you want to strengthen the planet and i already told you that if venus is indicating something bad and if you strengthen venus that bad thing will also start giving result alternatively you can donate the gemstone as well or use the gemstone with food products using the gemstone with food product will strengthen the planet strengthen the venus if you are going to use diamond and specifically when venus is indicating health problems now the basic philosophy uh, uh, that goes in hinduism is that an grain produces maximum diseases right so when you mix the gemstone with edibles the health problems related to planets improve is what i have seen and uh, uh, to many people i have given remedies for weight loss and these things and if the horoscope supports it that's the first point if the horoscope supports it it works as well my uh, uh, method of giving remedy is quite simple only if the horoscope indicates improvement i will give remedy if the horoscope does not improve uh, does not indicate improvement i do not give remedy at all so any person asking me sir do you give remedy or not this is subjective if the horoscope indicates that remedy should be given remedy will do some improvement i will give it to you but if it is a fixed karma if it is a dread karma i will not give the remedy at all right so don't come to me asking that i am suffering from this disease give me a remedy right giving a remedy is not in my hands only if the planets are indicating i will give it otherwise not right that is something that should be understood apart from that if you want to strengthen venus but uh, the venus is having negative influences as well the venus is indicating negative things also then you cannot be a diamond but you can donate diamond also as a remedy for venus now diamond is a costly gemstone no one will want to donate it so in fact what you can do is you can worship a god for example you can appoint a priest to do lakshmi worship and in that worship you can offer diamond to goddess lakshmi later on you can keep the lakshmi idol and diamond both in your place of worship both in your puja room and you can worship both of them so this will be considered as a donation of diamond to goddess and you can have it with yourself also 
so it remains with you as well this method should be used what it will do it will strengthen the planet in this case venus without the negative results of venus right so this remedy can also be done venus indicates venus have a sideways glance so people ruled by venus you will generally see that they have a habit of looking here and there as compared to looking directly in your eyes when they are talking to you or when they are in front of you that is first thing secondarily looking sideways also means that the person is distracted which results in the prediction that if venus is afflicting if venus is negative in the horoscope of the person person is not able to concentrate on one thing this is the particular reason that venus indicates extra marital affairs also because the person is not able to concentrate on their own spouse a negative venus connected to 10th house will indicate that person is not able to concentrate in his profession so on and so forth right so this way it should be used right the sideways glance of venus now you see glances are four fighters right person is looking upwards optimistic right the person is looking in front confident the person is looking downwards ashamed the person is looking sideways it is called it is female quality to look sideways and kanikyo se dekhna is female quality so venus looks sideways does indicate that a prominent venus person will have more female qualities in their nature as compared to other qualities frontal looking is jupiter so jupiter basically gives confidence upward looking is mars so mars gives optimism downward looking is saturn rahu saturn rahu gives shame this way it should be understood the basic quality of planet lightness of the nature like person taking things lightly not being very serious is also indicated by venus easy going person is also indicated by venus apart from that venus signifies spouse venus signifies vehicle spouse for male and spouse for female both is indicated by venus as per my experience i don't analyze mars or jupiter or any other planet to uh, see venus uh, to see spouse in female horoscope in male and female both type of horoscopes to analyze about the spouse i will use venus only vehicles ornaments love affairs pleasures information regarding the wealth of the person hoarded goods a mixture of music singing and dance music instrumental singing vocal and dance is also indicated by venus happiness scents flowers or sexual intercourse conch house property interest in poetry addiction to many women's extramarital affairs sport lasciviousness ministership charming speech marriage festivity is also indicated by venus so venus indicates marriage and festivity if you donate in marriage and festivity what you will do you will strengthen your venus venus indicates wife marriage sexuality to analyze about the qualities of wife the type of sexuality the person will have you should analyze venus so on and so forth the significations you should be analyzed venus also signifies the seventh house so when you have to analyze the seventh house you should analyze venus along with seventh house seventh lord as well for a complete analysis when venus is situated in the seventh house the venus is told to be harmful the venus is told to be problematic why because venus makes the person very li highly libidous and when venus is connected in the seventh house the person is blinded by his libido and he is not able to concentrate on other things because venus looks sideways lacks concentration right many in previous video many people asked that sir venus uh, you told that uh, jupiter in fifth house is not good why it is not good are other significations i have told in the video listen carefully venus is ruled by moon ruled by moon as in venus whatever qualities are indicated by venus those qualities are indicated even more strongly by moon that is one thing secondarily if any house or planet is influenced by venus and moon both you will be confused whose significations will come out more prominently now because moon rules venus the significations of moon will come out more prominently venus is powerful in pisces venus is powerful in libra taurus rashi navamsha etc venus is powerful in on fridays venus is powerful in 12th 3rd and 4th house 6th house also 
venus is powerful in afternoon time venus is powerful when it is with moon venus is powerful when he is retrograde and venus is powerful when he is ahead of sun more in degrees or next houses in these cases venus is powerful as i told you two three or more than that strength factors to a planet actually makes the planet powerful otherwise not when venus is in sixth house venus is baron of effects baron of effects as in the results which are indicated by venus generally is not indicated when venus is situated in the sixth house mean to say if venus is connected to the sixth house your analysis of venus should not largely depend on the conditions etc of venus but should depend on other planets who are connected with venus if rahu mercury saturn and mars all four of these planets are producing bad result you do a remedy for venus it will remedyify all these other planets also if all of these planets are weak and venus is also weak you only strengthen venus and it will strengthen rahu mars or saturn mercury automatically when venus is afflicted or when venus is giving bad results one goes into alcoholism one can have diabetes diseases to a beloved woman sister spouse female child right problems because of association with woman is the result of venus so when venus is afflicted and the dashantra dasha is going to run going to start these bad results can be expected one point if these bad results are coming in your life it is coming because venus is getting afflicted analyze your venus do a remedy right this you should do when venus is between 10 degrees to 20 degrees of rashi at that point of time venus is maximum result producing powerful venus is between 20 to 30 degrees of rashi maximum result producing between 10 to 20 degrees of rashi right house of a courtesan harem dancing hall these places are indicated by venus of course if you visit these places very often because it is ruled by venus venus indicates rajas also you will be increasing your rajas rajas can eventually lead to tamas also or sattva as well depending on how you guide it magicians wealthy people sensualists merchants dancers weavers courtesans peacock buffalo parrot and cow these are indicated by venus so i already told you feeding cow will be a good remedy for venus why because venus rules cow venus indicates buffalo also feeding buffalo taking care of peacock taking care of parrot taking care does not mean you put them in a cage and keep in a home right doing something for them will be a good remedy for venus apart from that venus indicates magicians right so going to musical concerts will strengthen venus if you see a struggling magician around yourself you support them guide them properly it will also strengthen your venus right people born in day time venus is the significator of mother venus should be analyzed to analyze mother people born in the night time venus indicates maternal aunt venus indicates the sense of taste so if one runs very much behind taste if one is you know one gives much importance to the taste of food you should understand that their venus is prominent cow gram is indicated by venus consumption of cow gram donation of cow gram should be done for venus when venus is connected to the ascendant one will have birth mark generally in the left side of the left side of the face right creeping plants sappy and blossoming plants flower flower uh, flowers are indicated by venus so you can plant them take care of them to remedy the uh, remedy your venus system then your venus as well in 27 degrees of pisces venus is exalted 27 degrees of uh, virgo venus is debilitated between 0 degrees to 15 degrees in libra rashi venus is in his mool trikona position where it is good out of the 10 incarnations of lord vishnu shri parshuram is indicated by venus parshuram jayanti coincides with akshatratiya shortly coming making donations on akshatratiya doing good works on akshatratiya not only the merit is akshay non destructible but it remedies venus also that you should do for venus i believe that using these significations of venus that i have told you in your video you will be able to make a better analysis of your horoscope and whatever horoscope you want to analyze and then using the remedies related to venus you will be able to strengthen your venus remedy your venus and get good results of venus and if you do that i will consider my hard work being successful thank you for watching the video